Hi there and welcome to this video tutorial. What I'm doing today is going to show you how to make changes to the tablet properties of your brand new shiny Bamboo Fun tablet from Wacom. Uh, this is the uh, tablet properties. You get it through control panel in Windows or through system preferences in Mac. Okay, you've got some tabs up here. You've got a pen and a mouse and a pop-up menu and a tablet. So we're going to just go through each one of these. It doesn't take any time at all to do this, really. Okay, the pen. The pen has an eraser with its uh, with pressure you want on it. You've got a couple switches. You can change what they do. And you've got the bottom tip feel. Double-click distance. Click sound you want it. You want it pen mode or mouse mode. And you've got an advanced tab, which I always leave the way it, it is. So the eraser. I want to have the eraser a bit heavy. This one here, the top thing, if you drop this menu down, I'm going to make this a pop-up menu, which we will finish up later. The bottom one I'm going to make into a keystroke, and the keystroke is going to be space. So that means in, in uh, Painter or in uh, Photoshop, I can just press the bottom button and scroll around my screen easily. Tip feel, uh, I need to have that firm as well. Double-click distance, uh, I'm going to make that bigger. I'm not going to turn on the click sound because it drive you absolutely buggy and I'm not going to have it as uh, a mouse. Now the mouse, this mouse, and here it is right here, is a little rocket ship. You can see it's zooming across the screen. It goes too fast for me. So what I want to do is uh, slow down the acceleration, put it down to here, and I'm going to make it a bit slower so I can use this mouse on the tablet. There, that's a bit better for me. And these ones here, over there, just leave them the same. Pop-up menu, this is fun what you can do is press the pop-up switch which is the top one on the pen and uh, it'll give you a little tiny menu in the middle of your document uh, and you can choose things from right there so I'm going to add a keystroke I'm going to make it B B is brush okay I'm going to add another keystroke and it's S and that is clone so I'm only going to do a couple of those, but there's another neat thing you can do here too, is you can make open run. Now I have to browse to my computer to find something to open and run, and I've chosen ACDC Pro 8. Okay, bang. So when I when this little menu pops up, I'll have that, and I can just I can just do it. I can even change this name if I want. Somehow. Okay, we'll just cancel it. I'm not going to try and change the name. It's not important. And you can go through and you can have 20, 30, 50 things on there if you want. The tablet, uh, this this switch I like the way it is, the show desktop. This one I'm going to change to a keystroke. And it's going to be Control-Shift-N or Command-Shift-N on your Mac. And that's New Layer. And you type the uh, name in there this one over here I'm going to change it to a keystroke as well and it's going to be control A and that is select all okay this one we can add another open run on it I'm going to do that and browse and we'll bring this up a little bit Ooh, up and up and Corel uh, where's Painter 10? There it is, right there. Nope, that's PaintShop Pro. Don't want that, it's way too slow a program. Uh, there's Painter 10 right there. Okay, so I've got Painter 10 on the bottom right, I've got Select All top right, New Layer top left, and Show Desktop bottom left. The touch ring, you've got these choices, and I'm just going to leave it at Zoom. Probably the best. So that's all there is to doing it. I'm finished. Now I'm going to uh, go into a document and we'll take a look at how these things work. Hello, here is my document. This is Max the Wonder Dog. He's my little Staffordshire Bull Terrier. A fine little dog he is too. Okay, there's a picture of Max, but I guess you probably didn't come here to see that, did you? So let's test these things out. Now what did I say? The bottom button was going to be the space key, right? And it is the space key. Well, I suppose I should zoom a bit in on Max and make sure that the space key actually does what it's supposed to do. Yeah, okay, see it works around. Now the other one, the top button, is the pop-up menu. And there it is right there. If I choose brush, now I've got a brush. And it's white. If I do it again, and do clone, I can take Max's little nose here with an alt click, and I can clone his little nose over there. 
and the third one was open ACDC Pro and we will just do that right there now it's going to take a little bit to load so we'll just kind of wait patiently while it thunders along here it comes and ACDC Pro is where I store all my photographs because it's such a great great program and you can see up here it's my pictures ACDC Pro photo manager there we go uh, so we'll just minimize that so those things work uh, I know my mouse works so now let's go to the uh, the tablet buttons and see what they do. Now the top left one was new layer. Oh look at that, a new layer. Isn't that neat? The top right one was control A and you can see the little marching ants going around there so it has been uh, selected. And the last one was, bottom right, was um, Corel Painter I think. So there I've hit the button and there's Corel Painter coming up. Initializing plugins. This is a great program. You've got to try this thing. Well, in your tablet, in your in your box, you have Corel Painter 3, and it's really great. There we go. So that is how you do the programming on the tablet properties, and it, it really what it's designed to do is make your life a lot easier, and you don't have to keep running up to the keyboard all the time. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, it's 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 a good way to modify your tablet properties. You can do it on any one of the Wacom tablets, but this is how you do it with the bamboo. So you take care, and come on back and see me. You can check out my site at www.the graphics-tablet.com and you'll find this video and others. Thanks, bye.